we are Growing Up Without Borders. And today we'd like to welcome you to Ella! Sri Lanka! Let's go have some fun! beautiful vehicle to the next destination. Now topping up money onto the cell phone, figuring out how the machine works. Yes. Now we bought the internet, but I don't know how to activate it. So I think they're we'll pretty, I think it's pretty where you just like pay and it activates. I don't I know. So. We'll see. So the other thing here is we're always challenged with which banks accept our cards and which ones don't. So there's all these different banks here in the city center and thankfully we found one that works. we could see there was all these people up there swimming so it's just a perfect spot to cool off. These are all tea little trees in front of us rows and rows and rows and rows and it goes on for miles and miles and miles all throughout the hills. Yeah, the one we saw was much smaller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We really wanted to experience a train ride in Sri Lanka, so we decided to stop at Nuera Elia and take the train from there all the way to Ella, and then our shuttle driver met us at the other side over in Ella with all our luggage. Three hours or so, or a little bit more than that, I guess. See you in, uh, See you in Ella. Ella Station. Okay. See you in Ella. Thank you. There's um, luggage room in here. Getting out of this one. We're gonna see what the tickets are to go and uh, what time and everything they are. Look at that, an old style post office box, too. These are the tickets. Thank you. $7.50 for five tickets to go. I'll just find out how long it's gonna take. How long is the train ride? Two and a half hours. So we've got a two and a half hour train ride to Ella. Uh, seven fifty is about less than five dollars. Less than five bucks, basically. So super cheap. Um, so yeah, good way to travel. So this is our very first train ride in Sri Lanka. So guys, if you don't have much luggage, this is definitely the way to go because um, it's just so much more affordable. It does take a little longer, but nevertheless. It's a super way to travel, super way to see the country, super scenic. We would have uh, done that had we not had bigger suitcases this time around. It just makes it easier. This little restaurant here. We decided to check out their little cafe and get a little munchie before we boarded the train. It's basically like a little pastry thing. Ella is literally 64 kilometers away. Candy is 98 kilometers away. Yes three hours to get from Candy to here by car, but you saw the roads are windy like that. 
and it'll be two and a half hours to get to LA. So. because there's literally no seats and it was too late to reserve seats when we got there. So we bought new tickets um, for first class with reserve seats from just some guy. And it was the same rate as uh, the ticket counter, so phew. Here we go, Angelique. amazing driver so I'm gonna put his phone number below if you're coming here look him up because uh, it just so happened that he started driving us and it's worked out amazing and the pricing's phenomenal so well worth it and he's so patient when he drives he just like takes care of us and just feels really good this is arriving to the train station you know that choice of you will have your choice of tuk tuk when you arrive at Ella loads and loads of tuk tuks waiting to pick up people The atmosphere here feels more like a backpacker's kind of atmosphere with all these cool restaurants, cafes, like this one right here that I'm going by. right now to a place called Ella Deck. It's only like three kilometers away from the train station. It's beautiful so far with the scenery that we're seeing. I think we're gonna have like the most amazing views. So these are the stairs going up to Ella Deck. So if you're coming here, just FYI, do not bring a lot of luggage as you do have to walk up many, many stairs to get there. Yesterday we climbed up how many stairs? thousand or something. A few more won't hurt. They have a really nice pool. I think we're gonna really enjoy that tomorrow. They're like Swiss chalet style rooms. Look at this. We're like up in the nature in the mountains. 
This is room number two. I guess we get one room and the girls get another room. Ah, does it join? Or is that a bathroom? We're basically staying in a Swiss chalet in the middle of Sri Lanka in the jungle. So here at Ella Deck, dinner that we ordered basically is some fried vegetable rice, the yummy salad where they put mangoes inside. It's so good. And these little chippies. Woke up to another beautiful day here in Sri Lanka. Isn't that beautiful? There's a monkey there. I think he's thinking, how am I gonna get up and go get the food on the table? Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Oh, look at him. What's gonna happen, girls? The dogs are coming. The dogs are coming? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. You got some nice juices. You leave your window open and a monkey, you show up and there's a monkey in your room. What would you guys do? What would you do, Chloe? I got a broom. Grab a broom and shoo him off. Here's what scared away the monkey. Oh, it's like a wolf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the juice this morning is this like really yeah, malicious fruit kind of smoothie juice. And it's a mixture. It can taste pineapple, maybe some orange. What else? Mm, really good. There's breakfast this morning with the most amazing view of the mountains. Story time. All right, so the weather here gets really cold at night. So, and um, this place actually only has like fine little blankets. So, I snuck downstairs. And I grabbed a bunch of blankets and covered us all up because they had some. But it wasn't enough. It gets so cold. It's like kind of like desert weather. And so, the, <laughs> in the middle of the night, I literally woke up and I still had gloves from when we left because it was cold when we left. So I literally put gloves on my my feet to sleep because I didn't bring any socks. We're literally backpacking this day. So I don't have any of like my warm clothes or anything. It's okay. awful. Who doesn't bring socks in the mountainous hiking area? Well, me. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, Julia and I are going back on the train so we can get some really cool shots of all the stunning views so we can show you guys because yesterday the sun had gone down and I saw the overcast. most, yeah, and it was the most amazing views. So we came back, we're gonna do just a quick hour train ride there and back. Can't pronounce this city, so I won't even try. I want to get there a little bit early because there's a huge lineup for getting your ticket. As you can see, it is fully packed. where you get reserved seating and second class where you get reserved seating and uh, it is packed. It's like here. As you can see the door does not shut. It just goes open and closed and open and closed. <laughs>
train in Taputale. <laughs> a little crazy. <laughs> We waited in Habutale for what felt like forever for the train to come and pick us up. Our train has arrived. Tiny little train. Oh, and look how packed it's gonna be. This is gonna be interesting. Wild. Mm, yeah. Exactly the blue train that we took on the way here. <laughs> We're off the track, waiting for the train. Stopped here for the last few minutes. We're not sure what's happening. Good to just sit, except for the grass keeps whipping us. Oh yeah, that's it. I think we're here now, though. Yes, we made it! Yay! We're starving. Never felt so good to be off a train. <laughs> Here's a map so you can see a little bit of what to see and do here in Ella. As you can see, you can do Rawana, waterfalls, Ella Rock, Little Adams Peak. While Julia and I were on the train, the girls and Tyler were waiting back for us to eat a really good lunch. But of course, the wait was much longer than expected since the train ride took forever. Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, it's a little boring, can I just say. And you want Okay, now that our bellies are full, we're gonna take you over towards Little Adam's Peak and we're gonna show you the beautiful views. Yeah. This little boy's cutting a coconut open. take a tuk tuk up the mountain instead of walking because it's 500 meters high and we're all being lazy. He said it was 40 minutes walk. Oh no, it's not 40 minutes walk, well, that's but that's okay. Oh, a lot of people call this video trains, planes, and automobiles. that the Tuk Tuk ride was worth the drive because it's really not that far up. Then you get on this beautiful trail like we're on right now. There are all tea trees. Basically, did you know, <laughs> we just learned this not too long ago, that green tea and black tea are the exact same. It's just the process in which they make it. And the other thing is, let me show you here. Basically, when you're picking tea, if you're picking here like this, two leaves in a bed, that's what you want to pick. Or if you find one that's one leaf in a bud, that's the orange part that you see in the orange, orange pico tea. So that's what you see in the tea leaves when it's like that little orange piece, that's the little bud. There's somebody serving ice cream right here on the middle of the path. Much needed ice cream. So you walk up all the stairs and what's at the top of the hill? A foot spa. Right here, yeah. It's here. There's a foot spa. Not only a foot spa, a foot spa with a beautiful view. Look at that. Oh, look at those chalets over there. Look at these guys. Oh, wow. This is a super big zip line that they're going on. Check this out. Oh, 
All good, Chloe? Chloe's leading us down a separate path. Look oh, at these views. Tell you that's dead and she's scared. <laughs> oh my god, are we walking in the barn? Oh, look at this. Well worth the hike up. Before we came to Sri Lanka, I didn't really know much about it, and I honestly had no idea that they had mountains this high. So we're close to 2,000 meters high, and uh, I don't know, like this specific mountain peak, but in this area, it goes up to 2,000 meters. Who would have thought Sri Lanka is so beautiful? where we're staying right down there in the distance and that's basically the town of Ella and kind of nestled away in and amongst those mountains ultimate Instagram pose. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we found out where the kids come to have fun. Can you guys tell me what you thought of the top of the mountain? Well, I loved running down it. Going up is a little tiring, but sometimes there's these little hidden paths. You should take the path. So when you're almost at the top, there's either staircases or another path. Go to the left. It's really nice. Here we go. That's where we're staying down there. And you see that pool? I think we should go jump in it before dinner. So tonight we decided to get some Mexican food here. It's absolutely delicious. Some burritos. Which we haven't had in forever, so I'm really excited. We're all super hungry. So the meal tonight doesn't taste too Mexican other than the guacamole, but it's like a Sri Lankan version of a burrito, which is really funny. So they have the, the bread that's around it. It's basically like a chapati, you know, like their bread. and. Um, beans, what we're used to like black beans, it's not black beans, it's like the red beans that are a little bit harder. So it's just their version I guess. It's still good. This whole time we're staying next door to the girls. I didn't even realize they had this beautiful deck. Uh, right beside their little unit and look at the view so come around here I'm going to show you where we hiked to yesterday so we isn't this gorgeous enjoying my morning coffee and I'm just like pinching myself it's so pretty who would have thought Sri Lanka had so many beautiful mountains but you see that mountain right up there we literally hiked up that's little Adam's Rock and uh it's just stunningly gorgeous I just really wish we had more time because they have this most beautiful pool down below and it's such a gorgeous day, but we had so many things to like kind of see and do and hike and whatever that we didn't get to enjoy the pool and it's definitely hot enough to, and very inviting. But today we are off for a long drive. We're gonna go all the way to the city called Gaul and, um, and we'll show you that next. Last breakfast before we hit the road. 
We are going to go show you the iconic Nine Arch Bridge, which is the most photographed area in all of Sri Lanka. So here we go. The first little bit is a little bit treacherous like this. You have to be careful. We're going down in sandals, but the rest of it's not so bad. Dad, which way? Right or left? Let's just guess. Let's guess. Uh, everyone goes right. Let's go left. What does this place remind you of, Chloe? Switzerland. Yeah. Look at that. We can see it. The time tables here for you guys in case you want to like, go. you know, walk along the bridge or take some shots and stuff like that. And probably, based on yesterday, the train schedule is probably way off and wrong. So we have made it down to the Nine Arch Bridge. Look at these people. On our way back up now. How was it? Amazing. Really good. Cool. Thanks for watching our tour of Ella Sri Lanka. Please subscribe since we're going to take you guys along to every country in the world. See you next time. Bye. Bye.